So today we're gonna to be talking about some second trimester symptoms that you can experience on your journey pregnancy. <laughs> Number one is back pain or even sciatica. No! And this is really normal to have back pain. Well, I shouldn't say that it's a normal part of pregnancy, but it is common for women to have back pain during pregnancy because your spine starts to change and get more round, I guess, in that S shape. The organs in your body are moving and the baby is just growing. And the muscles around your spine are not used to where your spine is aligned now and where it's moving to. So you probably will have more back pain than normal. Some things that can contribute to your back pain are if you're sitting for prolonged periods of time, you're standing for long periods of time. So I'd recommend if you're sitting or you have a desk job, then you need to get up every hour and do some stretches. If your insurance allows, then go see a pregnancy specialist chiropractor. You should probably run this by your OBGYN to make sure that they are recommending it. And if they do recommend it, then go see your chiropractor. What she had told me was to sit on a yoga ball while I'm working at my desk and you could do some stretches and then get up from time to time, walk around, stretch, um, and that will relieve a lot of your back pain and sciatica. Number two, your belly is starting to show at the second trimester. And I started showing probably maybe around week 15, 16. Usually the first trimester, unless you've had a pregnancy before, you really don't show in the beginning, but the second and third trimester obviously is where you really start showing. I have been feeling great. I have had more energy. I'm less lethargic. I just feel like my normal self. A lot of times I don't even feel pregnant. So I have been working out like I used to do, obviously not with the heavy weight. I have a pregnancy workout from Beachbody that I'm doing and I absolutely love it. She calls uh, some of her like exercises lit, which is labor intensive training. So it's to get your body ready for that, you know, huge exercise. You know, it's always recommended to go walking 30 minutes a day or a couple times a day. That always gets the blood pumping, makes you feel better. If you're having trouble sleeping like I am at night, it'll help you sleep a lot better. And if you don't know what to do for exercises, there are a ton of YouTube channels that have pregnancy safe workouts. Just make sure you get cleared by your OB gen to make sure you can exercise. Remember guys, it's always a great day to grow. Grow in life, grow your baby, grow emotionally, and grow spiritually. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.